The Supermax unit at USPADX Florence houses 326 male inmates as of April 19, 2023, each assigned to one of six security levels. It is designed for 490 inmates but has never been at full capacity. The facility is best known for housing inmates who have been deemed too dangerous, too high profile, or too great a security risk for even maximum security prisons. For example, Joseph Romano was sentenced to life in federal prison for plotting to murder the judge and federal prosecutor who helped sentence him to 15 years in prison for masterminding a coin fraud operation. While in prison, he plotted to murder an undercover officer who had taken part in the investigation. When this came to light, Romano was transferred to USPADX Florence. The majority of current inmates, however, have been placed there because each has an extensive history in other prisons of committing violent crimes, including murder, against corrections officers and fellow inmates. These inmates are kept in administrative segregation. They are confined in a single person cell for 23 hours a day. During their hour outside the cell, which can occur at any time of day or night, they are kept under restraint, handcuffed, shackled, or both. The hour outside of the cell is for exercise and a phone call if they have earned the privilege. Their diet is restricted to ensure that the food cannot be used to harm themselves or to create unhygienic conditions in their cell. Some cells have showers which further reduces the amount of handling of inmates that correctional officers have to perform. After at least one year, depending on their conduct, inmates are gradually allowed out for longer periods. The long-term goal is to keep them at USPADX Florence for no more than three years and then to transfer them to a less restrictive prison to serve the remainder of their sentences. According to a 1998 report in the San Francisco Chronicle, USPADX Florence's main purpose is to try and extract reasonably peaceful behavior from extremely violent career prisoners. One cell block at Florence was once known as Bombers Row because five notable terrorists four of whom are, were domestic terrorists, were held there. Timothy McVeigh, Terry Nichols, Ramsey Youssef, Eric Rudolph, and Ted Kaczynski. Despite the extreme security measures to deter disruptive, violent, and dangerous behavior among inmates, there have been murders at ADX. Silvestre Rivera and Richard Santiago were both charged with the first-degree murder of Manuel Torres, a high-level member of the Mexican Mafia. Left alone with no guard supervision in the prison yard on the morning of April 21, 2005, Rivera and Santiago were videotaped brutally beating and stomping Torres to death. Rivera pled not guilty due to self-defense. Prosecutors intended to seek the death penalty against Rivera and Santiago, but they were both given life sentences for the murders. Today, Santiago remains incarcerated at ADX, while Rivera is currently serving his life sentence in USP Hazelton. In January 2021, a British judge ruled that Julian Assange could not be extradited to the US on the grounds that Assange would likely be housed at ADX, where there was a high risk he would commit suicide due to the conditions at the facility. This ruling was later overturned on appeal in December 2021.